In this presentation, we're going to go through the Windows installation of the Bogren Race Management Program. The setup program starts, like, starts out like all Windows programs, and you'll be presented a license agreement, which you'll read carefully and then accept it. And then you'll select the, the directory where you'd like to, like to install the Bogburn race program. And then the installation only takes a few minutes. And once it's installed, you'll be presented with a README file, which you should go over because there, there may be some current information that's been added to the particular version that you're working with. And once you've read the README file, you can then launch the Bogburn application from your program menu. And you'll see two programs, the main Bogburn Race Management Program and also a Load Race Package Program. That program will copy any attachments that you're sent from the field, from your iPads or your iPhones that contain race results, and it will copy them from your default download directory on your computer into the Bogburn directory. And we're going to have to, we're going to, have to configure this to the default download directory, and we'll show you how to do this a little bit later. The main application will come up with a login and you're going to have to type in the, the login and the password that's sent to you with, with the setup program. And we will type our login. And password. And this should present us with the main window. Now, the system comes with one race configured. So if you go into Select Manage Races, you'll see there's one sample race that's been set up for you, and this you can use for practice. You'll also see that the info level has been set up to three, which means you'll get messages as you move through the system. Now, the, one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your iDevices. So you'll go into Setup, and you'll see Email Application to your iDevices. First, what you're going to have to do is download FileMaker Go to your iPads or your iPhones, and once that's installed, and that's a free application that you can get from the, I, from the application store at Apple, you can email this, and what it will do is it will create two emails. The first email contains the Race 6 application, and the, this is, the Bogburn Race Management System is made up of two main applications. The Race 6 application is the main database, and you're going to send that out. And then the second email contains the race package application. And this is nothing more than a data container that's sent as an attachment to between your various devices. So when you set up a race on your Windows machine and you assign the bibs and the start times and the like, you can send out an updated version of the race package to your iDevice, and your iDevice will import it into the database on the iDevice. So we'll send these out. Now that these two are sent out, you can go over to your iPad and you're going to click on those attachments and load them into your iPad, which we'll do in a moment. Now the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into other settings. And down here are two directories down at the bottom here. There's a backup directory, which you're going to probably want to leave as the default. So this will, uh, I will go through the directory structure in a moment. And then there's the package location. Now the package location, typically what you can do is go out to your computer and go to your C drive and find the user subdirectory and then find yourself and then find the download subdirectory. Now you can confirm this is the right directory by saving an attachment to an email but this should be where your downloads or your attachments are saved when you download them. So you can simply copy this directory control C and then go back to the package location and paste it there and then what you'll need to do is you'll need to create the race package bat file this basically takes this subdirectory and loads it into that other program that's available uh, from the programs menu so that now has used that subdirectory and written a bat file so that whenever you download an attachment it will always be named race package and if you select that selection off of the program menu, we can just review where that is. That's this one here, load race package. That will now take the race package file and it will load it into your Bogburn directory and then you can import it into your, into your database. All right, I'm now back on the iPad where I've received the two emails that have the two applications. The first one has race six, which is the main application. And you can see it's been sent as an attachment you will probably have to tap on it to download. And you can tell that it's been downloaded 
to your device once you see the FileMaker icon. You can see this little purple icon. Once the icon appears, you then tap on it and it will ask you which application you want to open it in. And you're going to open it in FileMaker Go. I have two FileMaker Go's, version 13 and 12. 13 is the, is the current one and that's the one that you'll want to download from the App Store. It runs under either. If you already had FileMaker Go 12, it'll run under that one, but I'm going to pick 13. And what it will do is it will copy it into the FileMaker Go area on your iPad, and then it will ask you to log in. Now, we're just going to cancel out of it. And what that does is it has copied the file into the FileMaker Go area. It does show you two entries, although there actually is only one. And we'll see that it will take care of that. It'll, it will eliminate the duplicate entry when we come back. So we're going to close this. And now we're going to go back into to mail again. And now we're going to get go to step two. And we're going to do the same thing with the race package. The race package, when I select it, gives me the option to open in FileMaker Go. And it wants us to log in. We don't need to log in. We're going to cancel. And it will open even with the cancel, but we're going to exit out of it. All right, so now you have the, the application on. And if we go to device, you can see we're on recent. If we go to device, you see it actually only lists race 6 once. So when you're looking at device, you'll see race 6, and this is the main application. We can now go into it. We can log in. You'll be given the login. It'll be the same login that you had on your Windows machine. And what you'll see is that the application on the, on the iPad looks the, exactly the same as it did on the Windows machine and behaves exactly the same except that you'll select the buttons with your finger rather than with the mouse. So now this is installed and you're all set to go. Now, in the first presentation, we went over how you can update your race information on the iPad by sending a package, a race package. So once you actually set up a race on your Windows machine, you'll send out the race package and follow that lesson for loading the race package in. It will update the data that's on your iPad. But as far as the installation goes, you're, you're done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back, and this is only for those of you who are interested in more advanced features, we're going to look at the directory structure on the Windows box to show you where the various files are located, how you can back up files, and a few other things. So we're going to leave the iPad. All right, for those of you who are interested in some of the details behind the installation and how the files are organized, this is a brief discussion of the file structure that was actually installed on your Windows machine. If you go over to your Windows machine, you'll find that there's a Bogburn subdirectory, and under the Bogburn subdirectory, the first subdirectory you'll see is a backup subdirectory. And you can see there's nothing in it right now. Now, if I go back to the application, and this is the area that we were in once before, setting up the the package location, we also mentioned the backup location. If I want to back up my, my application, and you, you want to do this regularly because if you're moving race packages back and forth, there's always a chance that you're going to somehow corrupt your database. So if you click on race backup, what that does is it creates a backup file. And you can see here the counter, which was one, is now listed at two. And if I go back now and look in my backup subdirectory, you'll see that it created a race 6 manual backup 2. And if I do the, the backup again, you can see that the counter is increased to 3, and now it says manual backup 3. Now this backup is an exact copy of race 6. If you want to restore it, you're going to have to copy it and rename it yourself back to race 6. There's no automated rollback or anything like that. So if you go into the Bogburn subdirectory, what you'll see, if we go through the files, there is a race 6 file in there, and what you would do is you would rename that backup and copy it into here. But that backup is something that you're going to want to do regularly, and this just shows you where it's located. The original subdirectory contains the race 6 and race package that was sent out as to install the application on your iDevices. So whenever you use that email option to set up your new iDevices, this is the source of these two files. So that means the race 6, this is an empty race 6 package, this is not the race 6 that, you're, that you've updated with your latest race information. This will always reflect the initial race 6 package that's sent out with the, with the application. And this will be the race package that will have that one sample race uh, included in it. Another uh, subdirectory of interest might be pictures. And the pictures subdirectory is empty at the moment, but if you go back to 
or presentation three, we talk about how you can export athlete pictures, and this is the subdirectory that they'll be placed in with the athlete's name. We also have spreadsheet templates. There is an example athlete template, and what that allows you to do is create athletes that can be imported into the system. And then there's a race template, and here is the race template. It's just an example, and it is the actual race that we saw that comes with the application. So it's the example race. So there are two spreadsheets that you can use for inputting your information into the system. And the rest of the subdirectories are FileMaker, and, and we're not really going to go in, into the details of those. So that is the, the structure. The other thing that I wanted to show you was if we go and look at the download directory, if we remember we set that up, I now have in my directory a race package. And what I'd like to do is copy that into the race package in the Bogburn directory. And this would this is created when you right click on an attachment that's sent to you. And this would be sent to you by somebody on an iPad who's actually recorded the race results and you want to bring them back into your application. So I will load that race package into the Bogburn subdirectory by going to All Programs, Bogburn Race Management, Load Race Package. And what that does, let me pull this down into the recorded area, is it gives you some information about the fact that it's going to copy the existing race package that's in your Bogburn directory into a subdirectory. And it also indicates that you must set up this batch file before you should be using it. We did set it up earlier in this lesson, so we're fine. So what we'll do is we'll press any key and we'll see that the file was copied. Now that does a couple of things. Uh, one of the things that, that we'll see uh, is if we go back to the download directory, what we'll see is it's renamed the original race package to now it has a timestamp on the end of it. Now this is so that if I download a second race package it doesn't end up getting a name with a parentheses 2 at the end. So every time I get a race package sent to me via email, it will always be named race package when it's downloaded. Because if you have multiple files with the same name, it appends numbers. And you can see we've appended a number here on this PNG file up above. So it renames it in your downloads directory. And the other thing that it does is if you go to your Bogburn directory, what you'll see is, is that it's created a backup directory and it copied the race package that was in your Bogburn directory into this. If we look here, we'll see there's the race package. Now this is the race package that was in the Bogburn directory when we ran the, the, the copy utility. So it backed it up and put it in here. So in case you receive multiple race packages and you don't end up importing them as you get them, there is a chance that you'll lose some data and you can always go back into one of these backups. So we're creating these backups every time you move a file into the uh, erase package into the Bogburn subdirectory. Uh, and the other thing is, is, is that this race backup, or this race 6 backup, is available on the iPad. And as you can see from the screenshot, what it does is it just simply creates another file that's visible on the iPad. And again, if you start doing lots of backups on your iPad, you're eventually going to you're going to start using up a lot of space. So you'll want to delete them every so often. But you can create backups on your Windows machine, which will go into a backup subdirectory, or on your iPad, which will be just listed as another file under FileMaker Go. And this concludes the installation presentation for the Bogburn Race Management System.